for today's trick, we're going to take this fiberglass dog box, heat box is what I call it, off and put some insulation inside of it. We just picked up this RV a couple weeks ago and so far this is our biggest issue. It gets really hot. It gets hot enough that you can barely touch it with your hands and the air conditioning just can't keep up after a couple after an hour or so. Today's goal is to take that off and put this insulation in there. We'll see how it goes. But the first real hurdle is going to be how do I get those two screws out? That piece of wood that holds the dash together is right in the way. Now, I could take that piece of wood off, but that's not good. So that's a real design issue there. Obviously this fiberglass hot box was put in before. Well, I finally got the screws out thanks to all these tools. That last one's a little awkward. Yes, when I got all the screws out, that's what I saw. No insulation whatsoever. These two pieces of insulation were just kind of sticking to the engine. They were not on the engine cover at all. I'm surprised they were still there. Totally not doing any good for insulating the cab. These are the materials I used to do, to do the insulation. The Dynamat hood liner and the Dynamat adhesive sound deadener. They were both good materials. Pretty happy with them. I also used the roller to inst help install it to really push it on there because they're both self-adhesive. That helped. That was worth having. I think there's cheaper ones. Well, I have uh, the hood liner all put on and eh, that's pretty easy. Best way to cut it is a big heavy duty pair of scissors. It was pretty thick and raise a knife didn't work too good. Uh, other advice would be, so now I'm going to put the other stuff, the extreme on it, and I'm just going to roll one down the center. Uh, well, it's done. I used two rolls of the extreme stuff, the hard foil, and eh, three quarters of the hood liner. didn't really seal it good around this top part that's where the screws are and I'm assuming the screws will hold in pretty good overall not too hard but we will see when I put it back after our next trip it was clear the insulation worked very well the engine cover stays much cooler but even with the curtains we installed on a hot summer Florida afternoon it's still hard to only rely on the truck AC Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get more of our videos. You may need your Google account information to log in. Thanks.